Hello, I am Sister Hannah. Welcome to St. Mary's Convent in Suwannee, Tennessee, and welcome to our chapel, which is dedicated to Sister Constance and her companions. The question that Father Pat Patrick asked me to answer was, what message or legacy did Constance and the sisters leave that resonates with you today? When I think back on the legacy of Sister Constance and her sisters, three points come to mind that I think resonate with our lives today. First, is that courage takes many forms. It's easy to look back and focus on the heroism of doctors and nurses and those with medical training that were caring for victims during the epidemic. But it's also important to reflect on the sisters' courageous contribution of caring for victims despite not having official medical training, yet still doing and learning all they could to nurse yellow fever victims there was also courage involved in those who risked their lives in getting messages to the sisters about who was infected and who needed help. There was also courage shown in the many volunteers, clergy, nurses, and other sisters who put their lives at risk and came from other cities and states to help the sisters. The second point I take away is that there is no act of kindness that is too small. The Bible teaches us that whatever we do to the least of these, we do it unto Christ. Although over 5,000 people died in Memphis by the end of that terrible year, 1878, thousands more lived and survived. Sister Constance noted in her letters that those who received nursing care seldom died of the yellow fever disease. We don't know how many people are alive today thanks to the care of Sister Constance and her sisters. How many families, children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, great-great-grandchildren that have this courageous group of women to thank for their life-giving ministry. Their small impact during their lifetimes of kindness and caring for yellow fever victims allowed generations of people to live. The third point I take away is that God will always give us the strength we need. It may not be the circumstances of life that we need or choose or want, but God will give us the strength we need in that moment when we face them. God gave Sister Constance and her sisters the strength and energy they needed for their ministry. And God also gave them the hope and faith to persevere as best they could, knowing that suffering and death were not the final word, because they knew they were destined for resurrection. When things seemed overwhelmingly terrible and hopeless, God gave them what they needed to do, what they were called to do, and God gives us the strength we need as well. In years past, there was a line from the prayer for the feast day of Sister Constance and her companions that is printed on flyers for this event that reads, inspire in us like love and commitment to those in need. Those lines can still speak to us today if we let them. We can still learn from their example though we can see courage existing in many ways today, that there is no act of kindness too small, and that God will always give us the strength we need for the ministries we are called to accomplish. Thank you.